Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I really want to dive deeper into tooth whitening. Of course, it's one of the hottest, uh, most simple, cost-effective things someone can do to improve the appearance of their smile. And it really doesn't have to cost a lot, and yet there's all kinds of questions and, you know, um, concerns about it. Uh, people don't know what to choose. They don't know whether to spend a little bit of money and hope for the best or they should invest in something more, uh, you know, more professional. So I'd like as a dental professional myself to give you my experience with both uh, types of products. And, you know, we're going to be doing actually a demo demonstration on one of our team members. And we're going to be clarifying some of the concerns that people have and hopefully give you some guidance as to what maybe you would like to try. So, you know, somewhat of a product review and also just a clarification of the whole process. So if that interests you, stay tuned and we will get started. So the first thing I want to just quickly review, I did do a, a video about this before and it was talking about, you know, how whitening uh, works and just, you know, why it, what to expect from whitening is, uh, you know, looking at the enamel. Some people have you know, great enamel that whitens really easily and that isn't sensitive. And then other people have thinner enamel and they have so much sensitivity. They try a couple nights or a couple days of applications and they just stop. So you have to realize that I mean, hopefully you're one of these people that really can continue on and whiten. I did give some tips on how to, you know, kind of mitigate these uh, side effects like sensitivity, which is only temporarily temporary, like using, you know, a fluoride mouthwash or uh, desensitization toothpaste and even taking Advil while you're whitening that can really cut down. But again, you can go back to that video, check that out. And hopefully, uh, you know, this will continue on to help you figure out which products you want to use. The first thing I want to say is that I believe to to some degree all hydrogen peroxide based whitening systems will work you'll probably see some results what the difference is what I really see and again in my experience through uh, just from my own patients and through the trays that you know we provide here is and even what you'll see on the uh, ingredients or the sort of the description on the box of let's say a take-home or a over-the-counter product is that they're not going to promise it's going to last so the whitening uh, ability is there but the amount of time you're going to get out of the product is really really going to be different depending on the system you choose so the very simple systems with low hydrogen peroxide with um, shorter time. So if someone says, you know, only gonna be, it's a half hour a day that you need to whiten, that system is going to whiten your teeth, but I really see a difference in those patients and how many times per year or over a period of a few years that they have to re-whiten versus someone who uses a custom molded tray where the gel sits in the, against the teeth, but for a very long period, which is up to, you know, anywhere from six to eight hours. A lot of my, myself, my team, we have hardly ever re-whitened in years. And it's because we've had access, of course, to the, you know, custom systems that are the professional strength. So if you really are on a budget, I have had friends, I'm going to be perfectly honest here and speak, you know, candidly. I have had friends who have used the hydrogen peroxide mixed with baking soda, which is rather harsh, I might add, um, and just done exposure or brushing of the teeth. Now, the worrisome about that is that the direct um, baking soda is very harsh, you know, it's abrasive to the teeth. So I don't recommend it. But again, what I noticed, interestingly, was that the 3% hydrogen peroxide is the same 3% or 3.3% that's in, you know, our formulations. So, you know, 3% hydrogen peroxide out of a cheap, no name bottle of hydrogen peroxide like this is certainly still there. What I said before is, you know, it's the amount of times you're going to have to do that to keep your teeth white. And so do you want to whiten once or twice and then be done and not, you know, be abrasive to your teeth? Uh, or do you want to just again just try to get away with just trying to whiten them with toothbrush and some gel? Um, so I think that we really have to consider, you know, 
Hydrogen peroxide really whitens teeth. It's, it's an uh, acidic formulation, but when we add other things with it, we create a, a better pH balance so that it doesn't harm the enamel and that it doesn't cause you any harm. So the thing about tooth whitening, if, uh, if done with the right concentration and with, with the right um, additives with the gels that come with the gels, either in the white strips or the take home, we're not harming the enamel because we're sort of neutralizing and we're not using a high percentage of hydrogen peroxide. So the product we're gonna be trying out that on, on our team member on the live demonstration and also on, you know, for that I'm gonna be talking about today is Crest White Strips. It's pretty much the most well-recognized um, tooth whitening system over the counter. And honestly, they've had years doing this and I feel that it is definitely a respectable brand that uh, again if you're on a budget you certainly have no nothing to lose uh, the thing about the crest white strips that I've always sort of uh, had a little bit of an issue with is it seems to only reach far as far back as you're around your canines so it as you know like a smile kind of goes further than the canines there's other teeth behind the canines that are full part of a nice full smile that are not going to get whitened if you just use the white strips. However, it gives you a quick boost. You certainly uh, have to expect to be able to have to use them at least once a year. And again, doesn't because it doesn't last as long, but at the same time, if you're going somewhere and again, you're on a budget, absolutely. I feel that it's probably going to give us good result, but we are going to try it on our team, uh, team member, Tanya. And one of the other things about the white strips that is important to note is that it does uh, make it very clear in their instructions that they don't recommend anyone 18 or younger or any you have to be 18 years or older to use the whitening a lot of questions a lot of parents come in you know they kids have finished their orthodontics and they want to know if their child can whiten because again that's this that's the society we live in and sometimes the teeth do need a little freshening up we are very careful to whiten uh, teenagers teeth when we do give a little bit of whitening gel to, to finish an ortho, orthodontic case or Invisalign case, no matter what the age, I guess if they're a teenager, uh, we're doing it with close supervision. So I believe, I'm sure that, uh, you know, the white, Crest whitener strips are okay to use and I'm sure there are people using them under 18. However, you know, really want to you make sure there's great parental guidance there and that there's a good understanding of, you know, what you're doing or not doing with the strips. So just a little disclaimer there. I think it's important to think about age and think about supervision. So let's get into the ingredients. I've written some things down, so I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read this. So the Crest 3D Lux Professional Effects Whitening Strips uh, claim to be just as effective as the professional formulated uh, brand with uh, safe uh, enamel ingredients. So this is what uh, Crest 3D Lux Professional White Strips had on their website, and this is what they claim they can do. So the first is the deliver professional level teeth whitening at home. They will give you results that will last 12 months and beyond. So I'm not sure, again, at least 12 months. They will remove 14 years of stains for a whiter smile. Um, I, mm -hmm, okay. Uh, they will, the, the strips will mold to the shape of your teeth and you can even use them while drinking water. So they don't want to interrupt, you know, your life. So if you're whitening at home, you know, you can certainly have a drink of water with them in. That's, that of course is true. Uh, the other thing is they talk about is that PVP, which is a thickening agent for no slip. So these little sheets that go on your teeth, the little worry is that they will slip off your teeth, especially if you're talking or whatever, because you're not using them while you're sleeping. Um, and the hydrogen peroxide, the bleaching agent is 9.5%, and that's actually what we use in our products as well. You can get the Supreme for 14.5%, but again, the problem that I've noticed is that the higher the strength, the more sensitivity that patients will get. Uh, the sodium hydroxide is a pH balancer, and um, they have a carbomar, which is a thickener. And uh, there's glycerin in there, it keeps the strip from drying out, but there's nothing in these strips known to be bad for enamel of teeth or teeth. Um, and it's safe to use, but do remember that some of this does get ingested while wearing as your saliva will mix with it. And that is the other thing about, again, the strips, you know, if you're doing a lot of talking or you're, you know, you have them on for any amount of time, there's gonna be a little bit of ingestion. And I'm sure that's also partly why they would not want anyone 18 years or younger using them. 
So I've looked into what PVP does and it does suggest that there can be some damage to gum tissue with long-term use. And the PVP is the uh, ingredient, again, that's in the white, white strips. But whether or not that damage is, you know, long-term effects or just a sort of short-term visual uh, change in the gums, I actually don't have information on that, but that's something that we're going to be looking into. I think that, you know, when you have anything with that has to have a long shelf life, you have to remember that there has to be agents and, and preservatives and things like that in the gel with, with these products to help keep them stable for a long time. Professional um, whitening that doesn't have to have these preservatives because again we're using more of it more often and we do refrigerate our gel so that it lasts without the preservatives in it. The other thing uh, about the white strips and that I've always had an issue with and this is why of course having straight teeth is uh, another advantage to before you whiten is that when you're placing the strips you're really just adhering them or you're pushing the strip into around every tooth. If you've got significant overlap of teeth or rotations or turns of your teeth it's not going to get into those little crevices like um, an actual um, gel um, that just sitting over the teeth in a tray that I'm going to show you in a minute uh, that we do with the, with the custom uh, take home professional strength and that is a little bit of an issue because you may see inconsistencies in the amount of whitening you get in between like where the teeth um, you know, kind of sit against one another than you would in the body or the front side of the tooth. So you want an even um, whitening and certainly you can get some inconsistencies if you have crowded teeth. So it's always better and my recommendation is to have, you know, the straighter the teeth the better for many reasons, but another reason is to, uh, you know, have that uh, whitener work a little more effectively. But if you have perfectly straight teeth, I honestly think that you could get a great start on whitening with just the Crest White Strips and perhaps see good results, especially if you need that quick, efficient, cost-effective uh, option. I don't think it's gonna harm your teeth. In fact, if you're, you know, if you just follow the instructions very carefully and understand or not be disappointed when you have to redo it in a few months, then there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. So now I want to talk about uh, the professional strength take-home systems. I have done in-office, you know, customized whitening as well. I have found immediately great results, but what I've unfortunately felt that my patients were long-term disappointed because again, due to the short duration of the exposure to the hydrogen peroxide, there was not enough long-term results. So again, we have no longer do that in our clinic and I know some clinics do and that's great, but I just really don't see the longevity there. Um, you know, again, I see the great results at the beginning. Longevity is not there uh, for those that type of whitening. But when you do whitening at home, we make you a special customized mold that goes over the teeth, and that will essentially be the carrier or the holder of the gel overnight. So while you sleep, there's about six to eight hours there, hopefully, if you get enough sleep, uh, to, wear the, to wear that. And it sucks down over the teeth very carefully and keeps any gel from seeping out, which means you're not swallowing the gel. And also, it really helps hold the gel very nice and a very thin, even way against the front sides of the teeth. So you're going to apply the gel to the front side of the special tray. So I'm going to show you that now. Um, so there's two types of ways we can do models. We do the um, stone model where we'll take an impression. But one of the other things we started doing is making our models with this um, digital printing. So we have digital printing here in the office and we will take a scan of your mouth and then within uh, within a few hours we can have a you know a beautiful model that's printed and it's a really comfortable easy way to take these impressions so once we have that then we're going to take your model and we're going to create like a little blue thin layer and what we're doing is we're simulating where the gel is going to go against the teeth so if you look at this tray it doesn't it kind of looks like an Invisalign aligner but it's very very um, uh, what I would call very soft. So it's very flexible and it's very thin, okay? And the gel is going to, gel is gonna be injected to the front side of each tooth. So we're gonna push it and it's going to be in the simulation thickness of what you see in the blue, which is on this tray. 
So we've created a, a, a border on this that goes up above the teeth so that gel doesn't seep out past the area where we want to whiten and yet it stays against the tooth in a nice a full thickness uh, properly for you while you whiten or while you sleep. Uh, so you can see it just sits right down over the, over. you're gonna snap it over the teeth like this. And again, the gel, pretending that the gel is the simulated blue. The price point, however, for professional whitening, it varies between offices. Sometimes we will, there's a base cost. Some people just really can't afford to do upper and lower. They see, they say, you know, I don't see my lower teeth, so I just want to up whiten my upper teeth. That's a possibility. That is certainly cheaper than if you want to do upper and lower. I do find that the price points for tooth whitening beginning with one arch only start around $200 and uh, can go up to, with two arches can go up to, you know, four or $500. So again, it's about what can you invest early on, what can you afford to give you the results you need that you want, and then be more confident that it's gonna last a long time. Maybe you don't wanna be doing this every year. So you would rather just make the investment in the custom whitening up front and then you know, basically not have to worry about it anymore. And to compare, the cost of Crest White Strips is about $50 uh, for you know one package, I guess. Um, so definitely a lot less expensive, but uh, that's just so that you have an idea. If you go to the drugstore, you can get the white strips for about $50. And again, with the um, office, it can be up to four, four or $500. Gels that we use in the professional strength are not using many preservatives. So our gels, what we use is what's called Pola Day. There's Pola Night and Pola Day. And I'm gonna show you right now this particular one. I don't know if I can. If you we'll can do see this it. As a B roll. Yeah, so we'll put yeah. it there. And what it is, is it's 9.5%. So it's the lowest strength I can give you because the highest strength, the higher the strengths go up to up to 22%, will cause more sensitivity. One of the things that we did to help reduce our patient's sensitivity is removing the carbamide part of the gel. So when you don't have the, some of these other ingredients, uh, preservatives and thickeners in the gel, then it actually reduces the sensitivity. So uh, we have patients with generally not a lot of sensitivity. There's still some, of course, but by having just pure carbamide peroxide with just some you know, glycerin and water, nothing extra in it, then we're giving you something that is like less, less exposure to chemicals, I guess, but also that's gonna give you great results with less sensitivity. So that's it for today's video. I hope that clarified things for you. We are going to be doing a part two for this um, video, and that is where we actually have our team member, Tanya. She's gonna be trying out both systems. We're gonna do half of her mouth with the custom overnight trays. Uh, she's a great, uh, willing participant, and half with the Crest White Strips. Again, I really believe we're probably going to get very similar results, but we'll have to stay tuned to see that. We're gonna be about a month from now, we're gonna be uh, showing you that. But again, it's like, you know, how long does it last? And that's what I've found is generally the results may not, may be great at first, but they just don't last as long. So uh, I hope that uh, you'll look into that and we will see you next time.